Moving on to Indonesia, President Joko Widodo again instructed the Indonesian Bureau of Logistics to take in local farmers' grain this harvest season. The government has built rice milling centers in several areas, as inaugurated by the president himself in Saragan, Central Java, on the 11th of March, 2023. In his remarks at the inauguration of the rice milling center in Sragan, President Joko Widodo emphasized the government's wants to absorb rice harvest from farmers through the Bureau of Logistics, which is why rice milling centers are crucial so that the government rice reserves remain sufficient. The rice mill in Sragan has a drying machine with a capacity of 120 tons per day and a rice milling machine with a capacity of 6 tons per hour with three silo units that have a storage capacity of 2,000 tons. Besides Sragan, the government also built nine rice milling centers in other areas, including in Kendal Central Java, Karawang West Java, Lampung, Bojonegoro, and Magetan. Harga konsumen, harga di masyarakat juga pada posisi yang wajar. Indonesia's National Food Commodities Agency has increased the price of rice and grain in the time for the launching of the government's rice reserves this year. The increase in rice and grain prices comes amid a bump in farmers' production costs. As global fertilizer prices and food production costs increase, Indonesian farmers are now feeling the pinch. To help them cope with this, starting from March 11, 2023, the Indonesian National Food Commodities Agency will raise the price of rice and grain at the producer level to ensure that farmers can still profit. The price of harvested dry grain at the farmer level will be set at 5,000 rupiah per kilogram, up 800 rupiah from the previous price. The price of milled dry grain will be increased even further by 1,050 to 1,950 rupiah per kilogram. While the price of rice at the Indonesian Logistics Agency's reserves was increased by 1,650 rupiah to 9,950 rupiah per kilo. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo admitted that the price increases were done to ensure that farmers can still profit following the recent surge in fertilizer, seeds and overall production costs. Karena kita punya hitung-hitungan kos dalam setiap komponen berproduksi beras ini sudah kelihatan semuanya. Baik mengenai sewa lahan, pupuk, bibitnya, dan lain-lainnya sudah ketemu. Nanti badan pangan yang akan mengumumkan. Sehingga kita harapkan harga gabah di petani itu wajar, harga beras di pedagang wajar, Harga pembelian beras oleh masyarakat juga pada posisi yang wajar. Semuanya mendapatkan manfaat dan keuntungan dari perhitungan itu. Previously, Indonesia's National Food Commodities Agency will assign the National Logistics Agency to absorb nearly 2.2 million tons of farmer harvest to help meet 70% of harvesting targets until May 2023. This further adding of supply will then help determine Indonesia's supply levels and then redetermine prices to ensure it still benefits the farmers, vendors and consumers in Indonesia. <laughs>